the processors are largely private sector players, um, cooperatives, and uh, to a very small extent, some that have a public interest. And I think David Ndi has uh, told you what our plan is. We have identified uh, this dairy sector as a very important sector in, uh, for, for a couple of reasons. We believe that this sector is a sector that has the highest potential to turn around in a shorter time. Others are important. We need a bit more time. But this is an area where we have already what we can say both comparative and competitive advantage. We are already among the largest milk producers in the continent. Maybe the third, maybe the second, maybe the first. Sometimes it keeps swinging. Others overtake us once in a while. So we are among the best countries that produce milk in this continent. And it is because we already have livestock and we have farmers and we have to an extent some good measure of technical know-how and management capacity. We just need to see how we can build, you know, the partnership and, 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 and working together to elevate the productivity of our herd and increase the production of, of, uh, of our country. It is valuable to us as a nation because it is the place where we can easily increase the incomes of many farmers and many Kenyans. Uh, as has been said, the same cows we have today that are producing two, three, four, five, we can double the same herd, same farmer, same place, we can double the production just by making a couple of interventions. And we want to listen to some of the ideas you have because we also uh, are focused on this sector and we have interventions that we want to put in place. We believe this is also a sector that can not only generate more incomes for Kenyans, it can also create significant levels of employment. We have so many young people that uh, as government, we believe we should find opportunities for them to work. And dairy sector is one such sector, especially the whole value chain from production all the way to the market. It is also important to us, as was said by the director of dairy board, that this is an area that can earn us foreign exchange. We all, we all know that uh, our um, GDP, export GDP as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a percentage of our overall GDP has been going down. From I think 30% a while ago, we are now around 10%. And one of the areas that we can use to increase our exports is this dairy sector. And that is why it is very important for us to have this conversation. We are going to have conversations with other sectors and other stakeholders in this uh, space. And because you are the primary people, you are ultimately the people who process um, our milk. It is important for us to engage you. And just to mention a couple of areas that we are doing as government. Number one, we are investing in the infrastructure for good semen, for purposes of getting good breeds that are both good for milk production and meat production. We are investing some resources in uh, Kagrik, we are investing some resources in Kefefabi, and this year we also changed the tax structure to support local animal vaccine production so that we can encourage more people to produce the vaccines that we use 
uh, to manage the diseases around our livestock locally, that we produce uh, them locally. Number two, we are focused also on the milk cold chain because part of the challenge we've had is perishability of milk. And the longer milk get or takes to get to a, a, a cold chain facility, the lower the quality. And therefore, to manage quality, we are rolling out, I think it has been said here, we have 400 and how many? 460 milk coolers. Of those 460 milk coolers, 350 are actually public, which we acquired as government. We are again in the process of uh, um, investing another 8 billion shillings to get another 650 milk coolers that will be distributed around the country. We want to agree with you on how can we derive the highest value from this investment? Because it is going a long way in improving the quality of milk and the amount of milk that gets to your processors and gets to the market when it is good quality and when it is in a, in a state that we can use not only uh, to uh, produce uh, or the other value added uh, products. And the, 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 the better the quality of milk that get to the processors, the greater the opportunity for us to have high end value added products that today, as has been said, we are even importing some of those products like cheese and others. And the greater it is, the possibility for us to tap into the huge export market that is available for uh, our products and so that we can also enhance our revenue. And so at the heart of this conversation is quality of milk. What, what is it that we are going to do to make sure that we get the right quality of milk, we get the right quantity of milk, and that is why feed is also going to be another conversation that we are going to have already. We are working with uh, some private sector players to see whether we can bulk the production of silage, hay, and other products so that we can make them affordable to many of our farmers to increase their productivity and so that we can make this whole industry sustainable, profitable, but we also use it to drive our revenues, both local and from exports. So th this is the, the conversation I want us to have. What I was asking my team is that as we make all these interventions, we are investing in AI facility, we're investing in vaccine facility, we're investing in cold room facility, we are investing in supporting farmers, and everything that we are doing, what are the other stakeholders doing? What are the processors doing to support uh, this whole uh, endeavor? More specifically, uh, how do we um, reorient the focus of processors away from just focusing on the consumer and where they sell, but also give due attention to the farmers who produce? Because without the farmers, this whole chain doesn't go very far. Uh, we are all aware that uh, 
the farmers believe they are getting the short end of the stick. But we, we need to interrogate that. Is it the feed? Is it uh, the productivity? Is it the quality? And how do we work together, government and private sector, to improve the productivity of our farmers, to improve the quality of the milk they are producing, and therefore be able to pay them better prices if everybody is getting a fair return. So this is the conversation that I thought we should have. And then secondly, I also want us to have a conversation about milk cloth. We are all expecting El Nino. Uh, if, if, anything, if, if the rain this afternoon is anything to go by, I don't know whether that, that's a sign of El Nino or just rain. Um, and how do we manage this cloth? And how do we use the capacities that we have, whether it is uh, in uh, production of uh, powder milk or whatever other products that we, we, we think the excess milk can be used for? How do we make sure that that happens? Creating harmony in the industry and removing too much fluctuation uh, within the industry uh, and the milk prices. We are ready to work with uh, you, either using the facilities, I don't know, commodity fund or uh, whatever other fund that we have, to own land to um, the processors uh, so that you can have uh, money to be able to buy the excess milk. But we must also, uh, you must also explain to me, because this is public money, how you're going to return that money when you sell the products. Because in the past, we've given, milk, we've given money for, uh, uh, to manage the clot, but that money never came back. I don't know what happens to the, uh, what, what happens to the money after you sell the products you, you have. Uh, so we, we need to agree, you know. I am, I am willing, I'm ready to provide uh, 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 money and, and resources for you to manage the cloth, but we need to agree how that money becomes uh, or, or gets back to uh, the people's coffers so that we can make it available the next time we have another situation. So I was told that there are people here who want to speak to these issues, and I am ready to listen. So maybe somebody can come and manage uh, the rest of the people who want to speak. Uh, Mweke? Asante Nisan.